Good day everyone and welcome. Before we start, we have a disclosure. Please be aware of risk in the future trading. I mean, today is Tuesday, not much going on, but uh, it was okay. Decent numbers today. Uh, on the other channel, we predicted exactly where it will end for the for the morning session and it was right on the tick. You can see the link uh, below. A little announcement to all our members, please, please, the ones have not updated their file, you need, we have an update to all the system, all the 20 auto trade we have, the institutional, the reversal, the scalper, the M strategy, the BBT, the institute, what else, there is all the signal, everything, the indicators, everything, major update. And you need to get those new files as soon as possible. Uh, we we send it out on Monday. So let's uh, look what happened today. Uh, the uh, uh, on the, the Nasdaq today, the one minute, uh, it was uh, five thousand eight hundred on the Nasdaq, and I believe that's exactly where. Uh, we estimated we estimated somewhere around there, and um, and this is a one minute chart. So when your auto trade works on one minute, works on everything. And uh, today the the Europeans had better luck with the ES uh, than the US session. Anyway, uh, on the US session, we were done around ten thirty. And it was 2600, but the European had a much beautiful ride on the ES. Uh, the DAX normal uh, today, the morning session was three times more, and uh, in the US session, it was only 2300. Uh, on the NASDAQ, this is another account. Um, uh, on the CL 400, we got uh, 1400. And those all for the morning session, uh, we got finished around 10.49. And uh, look at this, the Europeans again, the NASDAQ. Beautiful, right? Anyway, uh, 23.60. Uh, the ES, this is the European session, this is the US session, and um, yeah, 2200, and it was done around 11 o'clock. ES7 range, uh, finished around, uh, around 11, most of them finished around 11. And uh, the DAX in the morning at 12 o'clock finished. On the DAX, uh, the YM uh, finished around ten twenty-two, two thousand, and uh, uh, gold on the four minutes. Uh, the gold has been uh, amazing performance on the gold. Uh, Twelve o'clock and. Uh, uh, here we don't because we started here. So between the morning session and uh, where we started the gold, it was no trades. Uh, the gold again on the three minutes, 1200, not much. All of them on a thousand dollar target, uh, the gold 1900. Uh, the ES9 range, look at this. Wow, but this is the U.S. session, 2200. I mean, uh, they got one day or two days out of a month that will have a better performance in Europe, but uh, the U.S. session is fine. Uh, 1895 on the YM five minutes, and uh, YM uh, two minutes, the same, 2800. 2000 on the CL6 range, 10 o'clock was finished, and uh, 11 o'clock. Uh, I want to show something else today. I want to show 
Uh, the scalpers did very well, 1,000 on the ES and uh, 2,000 on the the scalping, uh, the, the 2,000 on the NASDAQ. This. But I want to show a different third auto trade. And uh, this is uh, the CL5 range. And uh, it's a base on one contract. If the market goes to your favor, will stay on one contract. If the market uh, did go against you, you can implement one or two more trades in there, or three more trades if you want. And it is playing from FIB to FIB. So I took the first one here, that's fine. But then I took a short here, and then the market did go against you, and you got filled on the second resistance line and took and close it what it does it it, it will rearrange your target to get an average price and get out as soon as possible but this is not what i'm going to try to show you when uh so one trade went to your favor when it did go against you the auto trade, that's what I mean, is a very forgiven auto trade, especially for newer people. Uh, you got out of it with the profits than being with the stupid stop loss. But then, here's what is really, uh, today, this is where it pays off. If you look this entry here, this is a resistance. And... And look where is the, the, the last trade. At the same level as where I re-entered and get out of trouble. And then the market did go up, come in, and we have a breakout on the, on the FIB line. And there we go, 1,290 based on one contract. So uh, this is... Uh, something in 2023 uh, telling you that uh, ATRs and MACDs is no longer valid in 2023. They are totally outdated. And, um, and uh, this is really at the same level they uh, took the last trade. And this is the art of trading, you know. And also on the scalper today, uh, on the Nasdaq also did something else on this uh, as I remember today uh, it was <sighs> yes let me show you another thing and I mean this is two two hundred thirty two seconds if you are using an ATR or something. I mean, you would have stopped out, but then when the market going down, when the market going down, on the first pullback, the auto trade nailed that trade. So it's not a just an entry, it's levels, and where is the auto trade has to take it precisely, and that's what makes it different. And today, when I, when I saw that, I knew it is going to take one more trade and it will be over. And this is a really good, nice feeling when you know you are on top of it when you are auto trading. Folks, uh, thank you very much for today. Uh, we wish you a pleasant evening and uh, God bless everyone. Bye for now.